what happened yesterday with the vote on Secretary Mayorkas? Why bring that to the floor if you didn't have the votes? And will you hold another vote to impeach him? Yeah, on impeachment, last night was a setback, but democracy is messy. We live in a time of divided government. Uh, we have a razor-thin uh, margin here, and every vote counts. While House Republicans followed Trump's directive to reject a border bill that largely favored their positions, Speaker Mike Johnson spent his extra time embarrassing himself with a failed impeachment vote on Secretary Mayorkas. After Representative Al Green rose from the ashes of surgery and ruined their senseless impeachment, Marjorie Taylor Greene sprung into action with new conspiracy theories. They hid one of their members uh, waiting to the last minute uh, watching to see our votes, um, trying to throw us off on the numbers that we had versus the numbers they had. So yeah, that was a strategy at play tonight. Now, with several Republicans voting against it, Johnson and his assistant, Speaker Green, took aim at Republican Representative McClintock, who reminded them that their strategy should probably go further than their first and only step of political theater. He's failing his oath of office. That's what I would say. I would say he needs to grow some courage and read the room. The room is our country. And the American people are fed up with millions of people abusing our laws, Mayorkas breaking the law and allowing millions of people to invade. He needs to do the right thing. And, and I would urge all of my colleagues to do, do the right thing. Grow some courage and actually do something for once, for once in this Congress. Congressman McClintock, your reaction? Well, instead of reading the room, I'd suggest that maybe she read the Constitution. Uh, that she took an oath to support and defend. And that Constitution very clearly lays out the grounds for impeachment. This dumbs down those grounds dramatically and would set a precedent that could be turned against the conservatives on the Supreme Court or a future Republican administration uh, the moment the Democrats take control of the Congress. Since it's never about actually accomplishing anything for Americans, House Republicans that already illustrated endless incompetence in their speaker ousting went right back on TV to promise more of the same. Look, at the end of the day, uh, we had a couple members who just didn't feel that uh, they should have voted to impeach Alejandro Mayorkas. I disagree. Alejandro Mayorkas has lied to Congress, he has lied to the American people, and he is on purpose not executing the laws of this land to secure the nation. And so if somebody's not doing their job, and let me put it this way, if they're doing the exact opposite of what their job is supposed to be about, that person should be removed from that job. Doesn't matter if you're at the at the at the local corner store or the local bank. Doesn't matter if you're a school teacher, and it definitely shouldn't matter if you're the Secretary of Homeland Security, because the nation is not secure. That is his job. He has failed at 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 it, and he willfully is not following the law. So I believe he deserves to be impeached, and I believe we're going to bring that resolution back, and it will pass. So after they make sure that no one else is returning from the hospital, and they threaten any other defectors with the ire of Donald Trump, they hope to get their man, only for the vote to then annoy the Democratic controlled Senate, who will then talk more about their ineptitude before voting against it. And the end result? A new immigration grievance for Trump to campaign on and complain about. Secretary Mayorkas and the U.S. Senate have been working for months to achieve precisely the immigration and border compromise the GOP has been demanding. And miraculously, they got to a bipartisan immigration agreement for billions of dollars more in border patrol officers, immigration judges, fentanyl detection machines, a far tougher border. It was good enough for Senator Mitch McConnell and dozens of GOP senators, and it was good enough for the Wall Street Journal, but the House megas would not take yes for an answer. Why? Because Donald Trump doesn't want a border solution. He wants a border problem, nothing else to run on.